Hey you guys, it's model making time and today we're building the F5A Freedom Fighter from PM Models with some decals from Allmark Decals which is for the Double Dutch Display Team. I'm actually building this as a gift for someone. If you don't know them already, check them out on Twitch. It's the amazing Dutch icon that is Menopause. Menopause and I have been friends for quite a while and they're the spookiest Dutch person that I know. However, I thought I'd bring some colour into their lives with the Double Dutch Display Team in 170 second scale. Hopefully at the end we'll see if they like this kit. This is a bit of a different format and I hope you like the new layout of these videos. Things will change going forward, you'll probably see some stuff pop up on there, maybe some differences over here, who knows, but things will change and hopefully start to look a bit better as we go on. I wanted to do more than just showing you my Twitch streams. I wanted to talk about the models and perhaps the aircraft or whatever other subjects in a bit more detail. So I guess we should start by looking at the box, right? So let's let's go have a look, see what we think about what's in the box. We'll also have a look at the decals too and we'll go from there. <laughs> Boom, this is what we are looking at today, the F5A from PM Models. And let's just get it out of the box and have a look at what we get in here, because it's normally pretty basic. The box can just be thrown away at that point. So, okay, well, it's pretty standard. Hey, 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 Mano, building it for you, honey. So yes, in this kit we get two sprues. Nothing overly complicated, wings are already preformed, tail sections are already preformed, drop tanks, engines, landing gear, uh, air intake perhaps, uh, gear covers, and on this side, drop tank. On this sprue we do get one, one seat, so that's gonna be all the cockpit detailing we're gonna get. I mean, that's just a fuselage, it looks pretty easy. We have got clear parts as well, so it's just this. Um, quality looks fine, nothing to write home about, it's just average. Decals, again, I was actually pleasantly surprised last time I had PM decals, so I'm not gonna use these, but I'll probably keep them in my spares for any time I need to do a uh, Turkish aircraft. So, this is what we're going with. I actually got lots of reference photos along with this model, which is really, really nice. Okay, that's the decals. So let's just have a look. Okay. These look pretty good. I don't, I can't work out if they're pre-cut or not. That's interesting. I'm assuming they are, but I can't really work it out. They look nice. Have we got enough for two aircraft? Oh, they're two different schemes. That's the old, that's the new scheme. That's the old scheme. I get it, I get it. Okay, okay, I see you, I see you. Look pretty good quality. It's kind of hard to assess until we've actually gone in and, you know, made the model kit. So we'll see how we go with this one. What I wanted to do as well was talk about the team a bit more themselves. So they started up in 1975 and they fly the F5A. They had an array of fabulous paint schemes throughout the years, starting at 1975. Um, anyone who saw the F-16 solo display team in, I think it's the 1990s, will sort of know what I mean. Think of that, but a bit earlier and on F-5, you've got the sort of scheme I'm going for, but honey, the Dutch just know how to paint an aircraft, they always look on point, just, yeah, this is going to be no exception. Like many air forces across the world, however, they were rocked by the events of August 28, 1988. There were two separate air show disasters on the same day. In one incident, a Finnish aircraft crashed in Belgium, killing the pilot. At another more infamous display in Germany, the Fretto Tricolori had a three aircraft collision. One aircraft unfortunately went into the crowd and killed dozens of people. It wouldn't be the double Dutch display team's own decision of whether they would continue flying. On September the 16th, 1988, they received a phone call when they were preparing to take off for an air show and unfortunately they were told they were no longer allowed to continue flying. The team returned to the Netherlands and that was the end of the team. The display team lives on though. Whether it's on an old VHS you have, a DVD or <laughs> obviously YouTube videos, we can still see the display team fly. And today we're going to recreate them in one centimeter second scale, starting with PM Models model. Then we're going to send it over to the glorious menopause. So let's get into building the model kit. So I hope you're liking the new format. This is going to be more of the traditional format where we're going to look at me building the model live on Twitch. 
and I didn't expect to be doing this today but I just wanted to check everything looked okay and the concept worked because I'm going to do a lot more tomorrow and it seems all really good so I'm really happy yay if you haven't followed me on Twitch already Ms. Modeler on Twitch you can see it down there that's where you can find me and watch me build these live uh, the YouTube videos are a bit behind because I tried to do one a week just so I can give myself some breathing space between my jobs. Now we've talked about the PM model kit before uh, when I did the flying swans or the white swans one and they're pretty pretty basic kits and normally I, I'd have some reservation. I did with the F86 I was like yes it's good because you know you can do a really quick project it's really one you can do after school or work depending on how old you are but in this instance there aren't really many alternatives. <laughs> Hasagawa and FX both have kits, but they're really old. I think Ravel has the old Matchbox kit, which again is really old. This seems to be its own sort of molding, I'm guessing, because of the wings. It seems very PM. And I think I have another one of these on the way as well, actually, for something else. But yeah, it's pretty basic. Um, but I'm not I'm not I'm not hating the kit. It seems like the aspects um or the ratio, sorry, is a bit off. Um it, it seems a bit small. But I don't know if that's just me. Like I've compared it to the Atari kit, which is where I've got those missiles from, because they don't come with the PM kit, and I needed them. And it it seems a bit small in comparison. But you know, it, it could just be that. Actually, no, it is just going to be useful. It's a PM model kit; they're not built for accuracy. Let's be really honest. But again, this kit cost me six ninety nine from my local model store. I I can't really complain too much about it for the price, you know. You get what you pay for. And that, yes, okay, there are rare fix kits that cost a couple of quid more, but I'm also not scared of screwing this one up. I'm not going to put hours into it to build it. So there is that advantage of it. it it's also the only F5 kit you're going to get, really. Like, really accessibly. I can't find one in the store for love nor money otherwise. In terms of painting, we're using gunship grey on the top. We're going to use a lighter grey on the bottom. Uh, gunship grey is sort of the standard grey from uh, what my chat said for uh, American models uh, or American aircraft. And that's what the uh, the FIV is painted in. It's sort of the standard colours from what I could tell. So dark grey on top, lighter grey or medium grey on top, I should say. Light grey on the bottom. It has the luminous orange wingtip like missiles which they use for smoke which is genius and you can see here i'm mixing the paint so if whenever you're watching this at the time of recording there's a fuel shortage it's not an actual fuel shortage but there's a an issue getting fuel in the uk and i didn't fancy driving somewhere tomorrow to potentially have no fuel <laughs> so instead i decided to mix my own paint so i mixed luminous yellow and um i think it was ferrari red fiery red a fiery red um to get like this orange color and then i kept putting some bit more luminous yellow on seeing how it was going and i think it went quite well it, it it's not as luminous as it should be let's let's just that's fine i completely accept it's not as luminous as it should be but i think i got a really nice glossy pretty orange it it's a very dutch orange i think I hope. I hope, Menno, when you see the model, that you absolutely adore the orange of this. And it's going to be weird because I know that I'm going to go back and edit this after you've got it to add in your your, your response. And it's going to be so weird <laughs> if if you hate it. But I mean, you'll you'll never hate anything that I get you right. <laughs> As you can see there, I, I filled in holes in the wing uh, after I've done the orange there because I found there was a gaping hole between the wing joint and the fuselage and it, it was awful. <laughs> I just couldn't deal with it. So I had I had to get rid of it. Um, I then had to sand it flat and yeah. I then realised after I've already painted nearly the entire thing, I said to Manu, oh, do you, do you want it as a fly model or do you want it like on landing gear? It's fine either way. And they were like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll have it as a flying model. And I've got a stand, so I was like, yeah, that's fine. Didn't think about the fact that I then have to make a hole in the model. And I need to put on the landing gear sort of assembly covering, however you call it, the undercarriage bay cover. And um, yeah, so that, that, that just wasted loads of time because I could have done that right at the start if I thought about it. So next time I build a model for someone, just just tell me because I won't ask you until the very end like an idiot. <laughs> but that's pretty much it for painting. Um, after this, uh, I've glossed it. Well, I'm going to gloss it. Um, as of recording, I haven't yet. So 
we'll, we'll see what happens tomorrow. New format. Eee! Day two of building this lovely FIB from PM Models. Equipment's actually been updated a little bit, so you guys now are on a stand rather than on a box and a book. Hopefully things look a bit better as well. Don't know if you've noticed anything changed there, I honestly have no idea, but let's get into building this FIV day two. Let's ignore the lighting issue then, uh, where I've got bags under my eyes. It's just because of how I've done the lighting. It is fixed now. However, I'm not sure which order the videos are gonna come out, but there is one coming out soon that does have that issue again. So just bear that in mind. Now we are doing the decals now. That's all we've got left to do on this kit. And I started on the front, um, which is sort of the double Dutch emblem and the uh, Netherlands flag. And I think it's always important to try and do the front if you can, because it means that you can then have as much purchase on the aircraft as possible, because you can hold on to the tail section, you can hold on to the wing so I sort of generally do that as a habit I always try and leave the wings normally most of all but on this aircraft the wings are so small that realistically the tail is going to give me the most secure grip on the aircraft after that we're going on to this section which is the fuselage from the air intake and I did it wrong initially thinking it had to curve across but it doesn't it goes straight and then up it's almost like a 90 degree turn and then it's the tail piece which looks gorgeous has like a really lovely little um salute to the, the the dutch air force on that so i i managed to get them both to match up in the end but <laughs> i did break the decal a few times and to be honest some of the decals did break without me really even doing anything which is just unfortunate i don't know whether these decals are just an older stock or whether it is just the manufacturing process much like decals decals these are not pre-cut so you do have to cut them out so when you are cutting them out of the main sheet just remember if you leave a massive amount of blank space that is going to be blank space that you transfer onto the aircraft so you're probably going to have to trim it later so it's best to just cut as close to the details as possible you can see i've got a little embroidery scissors there that i've used for it made it a lot easier the drop tank i've also put on i guess i sort of approximated where it should be based on the photos i had included with the decals again extremely grateful that those are on there so again kudos to the manufacturer it's then just the little details to do and also the round all that goes on one of the rings. I think it's the left hand side wing. Really that's it. There's not really a lot left to this aircraft. There's, there were lots of little decals to put on, I'll be honest. Like a lot of writing um, and like things to make it look more real. And particularly on this kit because it's such a low quality base kit. It really does actually bring the model to another level. And I've got some really awesome photos if we ignore my Photoshop skills. <laughs> so the next thing we're gonna see is whether Menno likes the kit or not. Um, as I'm recording this right now, it's on his way to them. So I'm really nervous <laughs> to see what they say. Um, obviously, before we get to that, if you do wanna follow me on Twitch as well, then you can see me building these kits live. If you wanna talk to other people, join the Discord, it's in the description below, and you can chat to other model makers and share your projects. And also please subscribe to the channel and hit like. Uh, it really does help me out. And comment below if you think Menno is gonna like this, cause I really hope they do. <laughs> cause I really tried. <laughs> Oh man, I'm stuck.
Hey guys, so clearly from my nails and from my hair, it's been a while since I originally started this project. In fact, it took 20 days, 21 days maybe, for it to reach Meno. <laughs> so it was a very tense few weeks of it sitting in customs and me being very worried that uh, they were just like not happy with it or there was something wrong with it but obviously they got it and I'm so delighted they loved it um, if you do go and see one of their streams so again their link is in the description below uh, but they're just menopause the cat on twitch you can actually see the model in the background as well so they put it on the shelf so me and Menno have been friends for quite a while now and um, they just mean a lot to me and I wanted to send them something so that they you know know I've, I'm always there with them <laughs> I guess I also want to just give a little, a little update on you know the video so this was originally meant to be the first one in my new format due to the delays of this one um, being received in the post it meant that I couldn't actually get this one out in time so I put the second video out first they will improve in quality there's one coming up to later on in this month uh, that I genuinely think is one of the best videos I've ever made and I'm really really proud of it so the quality is only going to get better from here. Generally what I am doing is I'm following sort of the format that like, a lot of craft YouTubers do. I started doing this after noticing that a lot of you guys really like my builds and I know I'm not the best model maker in the world, I don't pretend to be, but I really wanted to try and improve my content to make it more enjoyable for you guys to watch. And it's not only that, but I find it more enjoyable to make. It's much more fun to edit than, you know, just paying 3,000 times the speed on and filming a little overlay on it. It's nice to actually have, like, you know, this, whatever this is. Thank you so much for watching this video. There's some pictures now coming up of the, uh, the F5 on, on my airbase that I've got and I think it looks really good. Like, I, I wish I'd taken pictures before I put, you know, the stand on there. I think it still looks okay and yeah, I just, I, I'm really proud of this model as a whole. Considering how cheap the kit was and considering it probably cost more to post it than it did to get the supplies for the kit, I'm just really proud. Bye! watching the video i really appreciate it hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed what you saw here today to see more content as it comes you can also follow me on twitch at twitch.tv slash to watch me play these games live and chat with me see you later bye